Hi everyone, welcome back. In this session, I am going to discussing about data sufficiency. That is last session uh, of uh, uh, last session will continue here. Here the question what he is asking in this session is uh, among PQRS3 total five members are there. Among PQRS3 total five. Q is second tallest. Q is second tallest. This is the tallest person and given that Q is the second tallest and uh, s is uh, immediate taller than shortest uh, total five members are there this is the second position and the remaining three positions are uh, these are the remaining three positions uh, now given that s is the immediate taller than shortest uh, shortest is uh, bottom one so s is the immediate taller therefore this is yes here, this is a given information. This is common to all uh, the statements. Uh, who among them is uh, in the middle? Who among them is in the middle? So, we need to find this uh, middle person. We need to find this middle person. That is the question he is asking. Uh, in uh, When they are stand in order of heights. These are the order of heights. First person. First, uh, first height is uh, this blank and second height is uh, Q. Third one we don't know and uh, uh, fourth one is S and fifth one we don't know. This is the order of height. Now, we'll see the uh, statements. Uh, it is better to go with uh, only, uh, let's start with the options. Uh, here the option is uh, only two. First we'll start with only two. What is the second one? R is taller. Guys, uh, remember this particular diagram is common for all the options. Common. R is, second one is, R is taller than S. R is taller than S. But shorter than Q. R is shorter than Q. Here, Q, R, S must be in this way. So, it means that... Uh, Starting position you don't know according to this. Uh, why? Because QRS must be in this way. In between Q and S. In between Q and S. Uh, R should be there. In between Q and S we have only one position left over here. Therefore, this middle person is definitely R. If you take only two. If you take only two. Definitely you will get the answer here the question is asking about middle person who is middle person only two but directly you should not take answer is uh, uh, that is only two why because here we have one more option either only two or one and three only one and three only now i will use one and three whether it is uh, if it is true 1 and 3 is also you are getting the answer. Then you can keep the answer as either 2 or else 1 and 2 only. See, first one. T is the shortest person. So, this is T. Let us take this is T. And next, among third, third statement, P ranks, P ranks third in height. P ranks third in height above S. Above S third rank. That is P is at this position. If P is at this position automatically P, Q and one more person is R. One more person is R. Now the middle person is obviously R is the required answer. Therefore you will get the answer by using statements 1 and 3 only as well as uh, you will get the answer by using only 2. But you should not keep the answer only 2. Why? Because uh, here we have another option called uh, either only 2 or else uh, 1 and 2 only. That is uh, option B is the right answer. Option B. Let's move on to the next question. See, who is the tallest among 6 boys? Here, total six boys are there. P, T, N, D, Q, R. Total six boys. Now, the first one is 
only one and two. First option is only one and two. You can use only one and two. Whether you are getting the answer or not, we will check out. Here only one and two. First, I will take only one. P is taller than. P is taller. P is taller than D and N, but not as tall as. Uh, but not as tall as T. P is taller than D comma D and uh, N, but not uh, as tall as uh, T. So here, according to this statement, uh, we cannot say that. Uh, who is uh, tallest among six persons by using only one you will not get the answer by using only one you will not get the answer see guys here only one and either two or three only one and either two or three here this option is there so we'll check it out uh, second one one and two you can combine one and two first uh, one and two see one is diagram is this one and second one, R is taller. R is taller. This is the first statement diagram. Now I will draw second statement. R is taller than Q. R is taller than Q, but not as tall as T. R is not as tall as T. So below T only R and Q should be there. And uh, here also you cannot say by using only two, it is not possible to set the answer. But if you combine this one and this one, whether it is possible or not, uh, here in this case, below P, below T, in this case, below T, three members are there. In this case, uh, two different persons, uh, P, Q, R, D, N. All these five members, all these five members are below T only. It means obviously the tallest person, the tallest person is T. So you will get the answer by using statement 1 and 2 together. By using statement 1 and 2 together, you will get the answer. But uh, don't keep that answer directly. We will check it out with uh, statement uh, 3 also. Here statement 3 is what? Q is not taller than T and R. Q is uh, not taller than T and R. This is the meaning of uh, this particular statement. Q is not taller than uh, T and R. Therefore, obviously, uh, Q is definitely shorter than T and R. Now, according to this one, if you combine this statement, if you combine this statement and this statement, uh, it is not possible to take the position of R that is uh, below the T or else above the T. By using third statement and first statement, uh, you cannot combine by using second, uh, third one and uh, second one. By using third one and first one, you cannot combine. Suppose you can take R is here and uh, Q is somewhere else uh, below that. Uh, so, this is also possible. And you can also take T is here and R is uh, here. Right? That is also possible. Above, mm, R is above T and R is below T. These two are possible cases. Uh, in both the cases, uh, Q is... Uh, below t only below t and r that is the statement which is given here r uh, q is not taller than t and r if q is not taller than t and r then we don't have any relationship between uh, t and r so without knowing the relation of t and r definitely it is not possible to set the uh, person who is tallest among all the six members. But if you combine one and two, definitely you will set the answer. Why? Because uh, if you combine one and two, below T, three members are there and below T, here two members are there, that is R and Q. Two different persons, three different persons total. If you combine these two, tallest person among all the uh, six members is T. Option uh, 
one is the right answer why because only one and two are required to get the answer option a next one uh guys i hope you enjoyed the session thank you thank you very much for watching